G'day YouTube. This video will show you guys how to access Ubuntu on Windows 10. Now there's a few steps to sort of go about in order to get this going. So I've uh, started to write it down here on this little notepad. So first of all, what you want to do is go to Windows Updates. So let's just pop across there, Option 1, Windows Updates. And here we go, check for updates. Now, what I would first recommend is always check for updates, uh, see if there's anything there, and uh, then we continue on to step two. Now, with step two, what you actually need to do is uh, set up the uh, developer tools or developer options. And I seem to actually have the foresight to, uh, to sort of screenshot this earlier when it did look a bit different on my screen. So I checked for updates, then I went to four developers, and I actually switched the, uh, the developer tools or developer mode on. So that was uh, pretty much part two, as you can see here. So select developer mode, turn it on. Uh, now moving on, option three is uh, Windows features and tools. So, uh, sorry, phase three, Windows features and tools. So turn on Windows features uh, on or off. So let's click onto this one. And this is uh, really the crux of it right here. So uh, this is where it can get a bit tricky for you guys. But if you go down to the bottom here, you'll see WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux Beta. So make sure that's clicked and turned on, then click OK. And uh, from that point, off you go. But a lot of you guys might be saying, hey, you know, my WSL Beta isn't here. Well, you know, what do I do? And I've got an extra step for you guys just regarding that. So let's say that that isn't there. Then what you actually do need to do is go back into updates, go to advanced options, and go to insider builds. So let's do that as well. Now, this doesn't apply to everybody, but uh, I'm guessing that it does apply to most people. So let's go updates. Uh, let's see, uh, Windows updates, check for updates, and here we go, advanced options. And this, just uh, as a note, this will look slightly different to what you guys see because after I did the insider build updates, uh, the, the sort of the setting does look a little bit different. Uh, so here we go, and uh, let's see, insider builds, which is actually, believe it or not, isn't showing, but I uh, let's see if I can get that to go. Check an old photo. Hmm. Okay. So guess what? I can't show you. So that's kind of funny. But you should be able to see it there. It's uh, sometimes. In fact, you may also find it in uh, the developer options. I'm just purely going from memory here. But we need to find that insider build. So let's see. Now, once you actually do find uh, that option, you do need to select it. You do need to turn it on, and you do actually need to uh, sign up or log in in order to get it going. So that seems to be where I've, uh, I've mentioned it to myself earlier. Updates, advanced options, insider builds. So I don't, I guess, really have to go too much from memory now. And you'll see uh, it will start uploading or updating to this, so Windows 10 Insider Preview. So you will notice that your Pro, your Enterprise, your Home Edition will turn into something called Insider Preview. Uh, that's purely because it does need to, uh, I suppose, have these, these developer tools that, that aren't really standard on Windows 10 anyway. Now, after that's all done, and I promise you, this part, if you do need to do it, will take some time, several restarts, so a bit of a disclaimer there. If you do need to do that, great, do it. Then, once that's all done, all you need to do is go to uh, the command prompt and install bash. So this is the, uh, I suppose you could say, the terminal for Ubuntu. Uh, and that's actually how you get into it. So that's also how you install it, and I seem to do a little bit of a screenshot on that earlier. So I've gone to Command Prompt, I've gone to Bash. It says, this will install Ubuntu on Windows, uh, distributed by Canonical, licensed under its terms, available here. Uh, yes to continue, Y, enter. And I'll tell you, this seems to hang. So it just hangs for whatever reason. But uh, once I got out of it and I got back into it, I just uh, typed in Bash, as I did just a moment ago. And it just opens it up. And that's pretty cool because look, let's have a try of something. Let's go to the root directory and boom, we have a Linux style file system uh, with all the uh, Linux Ubuntu libraries in there, which uh, I suppose most of the libraries you'll find here. I mean, all the binaries, that sort of thing. And uh, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. Uh, that is how you guys access, install, run, use Ubuntu in Windows 10. Cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed.